Hello there, and welcome to, uh, I guess this is Gearheart on the 14th of May. So, uh, first attack, pure GBE, just trying to take out the rocket launcher kind of out here on its own. And also, because I had it available a little bit for the mines in... Uh, in our way, basically, because we're going to be smoking right through there, and our Zookas will not be able to handle those. So we abandon the first attack after we have spent our load, and move on to the second attack, which is, guess what? Big surprise, the exact same thing. Now, uh, for these attacks, I have my GBE boosted and nothing else, and the only reason for that is because I also had an op attack that I needed to do, and I needed that extra GBE to get there smokily safe. Um, so, this time, second round through, just taking out more defenses. The reason I'm doing this is basically all this extra GBE started to go to my head, and I was like, hey, I could just take out all these different things and not have to worry about stuff and blah, 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 so I'm going to be happy. So uh, I, I kind of realized, okay, I've got enough for one more artillery. Where oh, where do I want to spend it? And I decided, you know where I'm going to spend it? I'm going to spend it down here at the mortars. I, I was kind of deciding with the sniper towers as well. Um, and what I end up doing is dropping a artillery on this mortar. Now, by all means, if you take out what I've already taken out with two stuns, you can take out the rocket launcher, laser, mortar, and one rocket launcher, I guess, at the bottom of my screen right there. And then with another stun, take out the mortar, the two rocket launchers, and some sniper towers, uh, making it nice and safe up there for your, for your Zookas. However, I was like, you know what? I've got like three attacks left. I've got all this GBE. Rather than shelling out all kinds of coin to repopulate all my troops because they're getting their asses whooped, why don't I spend a few extra GBE, clear things up a little bit better, and, you know, call it a day. And this is what I came up with. And I thought it was a pretty snappy idea, which is pull up all the sniper towers. Basically now you've got two shocks, like two different things that you can shock very easily with two shocks. And all you need to do is get your Zookas up in just below the, the boom cannon, if you would. And everybody can live happily ever after. Most importantly, not Gearheart. So almost everybody can live happily ever after. Everybody except for Gearheart. And I even had enough for a shock, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to throw a shock down and just make sure I can hit everything that I think I can hit. And sure enough, I can hit everything I think I can hit. So now we're going to land our actual troops and take out that last mortar, because it just looks desperate. It's just kind of like hanging there by a thread, and it's like, well, I'm a nice guy. I'll put you out of your misery. So we're going to do through two... Stun, uh, two shot. Uh, geez, I've lost my words completely. Two smokes, and then we're gonna land everybody, and then a third smoke. And unfortunately, right there, you can see half of my troops getting disintegrated because I didn't place my smokes properly. And then even more troops getting disintegrated because my troops are friggin' idiots. So that is what it is. But we're gonna move up here, and we're gonna move up along the side. Now, sadly. If I had not had such a shitty landing, I'm pretty sure this is game set match and I win the internet, or at least I win at kicking Gearheart's arse. Unfortunately, because I did such a piss poor job landing, I throw my stuns down and I let my Zookas go at it and they do really good, but I run out of time. Uh, mathematically speaking, because I did do the math, obviously, um, the Zookas, if I had all of my Zookas actually make it there, the Zookas would have had enough DPS to down this thing in less than 10 seconds. So, we refresh our troops and we land again, and this time, we smoke properly. So, if you'll see there, it's very important to make the smoke 
cover the the I guess right hand side and we do lose a few troops there to the rocket launcher because that lo rocket launcher is a prick or I guess the rocket launcher is because all four of them are pricks but with a flare up into that top corner and some smoke we can get all our troops up there and this time as you can see from the little numbers at the bottom left hand corner a lot more Zookas are actually getting to where we want them to go. Which is fantastic, because we can flare them onto the HQ, throw down our two stuns, bing bang, boom, I don't know. And, boom, everything is dead. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you choose what not to do. And have yourselves a great day.